It's Ash from Super Videos back for another movie review. In this one, I'll be reviewing the Netflix original Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. If I wanted to give a one line of review, I would probably say this movie was half stupid and half genius. That's crossing the line. Alright, you could probably tell by the intro that I have mixed feelings about this movie, but before we dive into the spoiler review, if you are not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community. We're actually on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so if you're not a subscriber and like what you see, subscribe to help me get there. Last but not least, share and smash that like button, and don't forget to press the bell to be up to date about uploads on the channel. Okay, so with that intro out of the way, let's dive into the review. Being a massive zombie movie fan and having this channel where we cover AMC's The Walking Dead, I was extremely excited to watch this movie and I was satisfied but at the same time extremely disappointed. Here's the thing, if you're a fan of over the top zombie gore and action and awesome visuals and if you're just looking to have fun watching an action packed movie with zombies, you will absolutely enjoy this movie. As a bonus, if you're a fan of Zack Snyder's directorial style, then you'll have a blast with this movie. This movie has its fair share of over-the-top action sequences, epic slow motions, and flashy, fun characters, something Zack Snyder is definitely known for. However, if you're a fan of not only a great action flick with zombies, but also balanced with a good plotline and solid character development, then you'll definitely be disappointed. That being said, I absolutely loved the concept of this movie because it was unique and interesting. We've seen heist movies before, we've seen zombie survival movies before, but to mix these together, I think could have been genius, but at the end of the day, it just got translated to a hot mess. There's a lot of cliches in this movie that just took me out of the mood, and the zombies were horrific, to say the least. Here's the thing, I'm not a massive fan of fast zombies, and more so, not a big fan of intelligent ones, but I do like the concept of different phases of zombies. However, lo and behold, this movie doesn't just have intelligent, fast zombies, it has over the top, intelligent, fast, even martial arts savvy zombies. So that whole thing was just too much for me. Plus, as great and crazy as the zombies were, especially the alpha and the queen zombies, there was just so much blurry sequences with them that you lose the awesomeness. Is that even a word? I guess it is now. The thing with the zombie alpha and queen is that I thought it was clever to throw in. I don't like the way that everything came together and how they were utilized. I didn't even mind the zombie tiger, but when you start bringing in zombie horses and zombie babies and crying zombies, that's where you lose me. I think it's fair to say that in the zombie visuals department, Army of the Dead can teach a thing or two to the Walking Dead franchise, but when it comes to solid plotline and great character development and an organic and realistic storyline, Walking Dead can teach something to Army of the Dead. And before you even say it, I know they are somewhat different styles, but at the end of the day, they're both zombie stories. Acting wise, everyone acted their ass off, loved it all, didn't know Batista had it in him to carry a movie acting wise, but he did it, so that was extremely unexpected and a breath of fresh air. Believe it or not, Batista's character wasn't even my favorite character. The pilot was. She was freaking hilarious, and I loved her. What are you doing here? How's the job? Sucks ass. What are you guys doing here? We are putting together a crew for a job. Yeah, what does it pay? We make two million dollars for one day's work. Two million dollars. But That's my share. That's just for me. Two million dollars if it pans out. Hundred percent. I'm in. Yeah. You don't want to know, you know, the risks or why would I want to know the risks? Two million dollars. It's a lot of cash. Listen, I hate my life so deeply. If 
I had two million dollars, my life would change drastically. You sure you don't want to know? Uh, I bet it had something to do with a helicopter. Yeah. I'm the helicopter guy. Yeah. Yeah. Where do I sign? But that's pretty much my review. Half genius with the concept and most of the visuals, but half stupid when it comes to the different zombies and the ridiculous plot line. There was actually six different instances where the plot holes just had me shaking my head. The first one and the biggest one was they didn't need to have the twist. They didn't need to have the fake out heist. They could have just had the main mission be what it was always going to be about, which is them trying to get the alpha head. But they did something weird and very counterproductive, throwing that twist midway through the movie. And also speaking of midway through the movie, two and a half hours is a little bit long, not gonna lie. And most parts of the movie felt like they were stretched out and it definitely could have been trimmed. But going back to what I was saying, so the first big plot hole that had me shaking my head was the major twist that they didn't need to have. The second one was the scene where one of the girls found out that the personal security guy, his name was Martin I think, had a secret plan. To be honest though, that whole thing was actually pretty solid all the way until she fell out of the window in front of everyone else. Instead of spilling the beans about Martin and his secret plan, she ended up just asking everyone not to save her even though no one was gonna save her anyway or no one was trying to save her even though they were feet apart. So that took me out of the moment. The other part that took me out of the moment was the scene where the zombie alpha went down from a building onto a zombie horse on top of another building before the helicopter was able to go from one building to the other. That was the biggest WTF moment I've ever seen in movies. The other scene was actually the scene where Martin, the security guard, opened the bag and found that instead of an alpha head, he was carrying a money counting machine. Like, wouldn't that be obvious? Like, won't you know when you're carrying that thing that it's not a zombie head? I just thought that was ridiculous as well. The other moment that was just ridiculous was how the dude walked out of the vault after a nuclear freaking explosion like it was nothing. Isn't radiation a thing? I'm pretty sure it's a thing. So the fact that he was able to get out unfazed is something I can't understand. Before I start ranting here, I'm gonna end it and leave you with those last plot holes that I noticed watching this movie. But I'm definitely interested to know your thoughts and opinions about this movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And why? If you enjoyed this review, share and smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when we upload on the channel. That's it for this video, see you next time for another super video.